Hello! Guys, in this video I will uh, review the new version of the Volkswagen EOP Maps and More application. Volkswagen just released uh, yesterday the new version of the app, which is version uh, 3. Uh, so let's see what's new and how it uh, how different is it from the previous version. When you first enter the app, it will ask you uh, to accept the, uh, the terms and condition, uh, to accept some uh, privacy statements, and uh, to access the uh, to give access to the app to the location. But after you're doing that, you will see this dashboard here that's with, with empty places. And if you go like this, you will see all the available options that you can do with the with the app. So first, let's return to the uh, dashboard. The previous version doesn't have customizable dashboard. And you can see that uh, currently I can go here and let's say add navigation here. And I can customize this bar dashboard uh, as good as I like, as I feel it uh, best suits for my needs. For example, I'm using the maps and more uh, navigation. What else I'm using? I'm using the driving data for a lot i'm using let's say radio while i'm i'm driving and i can customize this and if i want to uh, have the other dashboards on the other screen i can go like this and i can add them for example here if i need them i don't use thin blue at all but you don't have any other dashboards here, screens with dashboard, you have only two. But the good thing or the very positive thing is that they are customizable and you can uh, change it as you, it suits you. And, uh, and this screen is all the functionality that uh, you can use with the car. Uh, actually, this functionality here covers the dashboards. But still, that's pretty good that we can customize dashboards. So let's do uh, a quick review of the app. First, let's start with the settings. So to go to the settings, you can go to this uh, here and you will see all the settings about the car. You can see that it's version 3. Uh, one thing that I, th I have noticed is, of course, a bug. You will go in privacy policy. There is nothing here, so they have forgotten to put the privacy policy here. I think the site notice is the same. There is no information here, but I guess they will fix it. The license, the license is here actually. This is what I was about to see. I was expecting to see in the, in the other pre uh, previous two options, but they have missed it somehow. Uh, terms of use, again, no information here. I think they will fix it. Safety information, again, nothing here. The other option is the e-manager option. That uh, is fully functional. The charge immediately option, you can uh, set the maximum amount of charging current that the car should uh, take from the charger. In the previous version, it was very annoying that uh, in order to charge it like this, to change it like this, you need to pick exactly this bullet here. And if you have uh, fat fingers, bigger fingers, it's very difficult just to, you can see that I can barely change it. But with these buttons here, with the biggest buttons, it's much better to uh, change the, the functionality. Uh, the other option is schedule, schedule charging. Uh, here in the minimum charging level uh, I think this is by default 10% I haven't used it ever uh, and I really don't know what is this option for uh, the AC charger uh, here you can set the the temperature the air conditioning uh, this is not the AC charger but the air conditioning So, uh, how much to, uh, what degree to uh, air condition the car and to use the battery for the air conditioning. 
This actually will fix one bug that I have noticed in the previous version of the uh, of the software that uh, whenever I would like to air condition the, to preheat the car and the AC charger was plugged into the to the car, the car didn't uh, preheat the car because it was using the AC and this AC didn't manage to deliver enough power to uh, to use the heater. So that's it for this option here. Oh come on. Uh, range warning. I think yeah this is uh, this is just toggles that you can turn on on off the range warning and uh, range warning destination and range warning home address. Uh, the this actually is very nice because if I want to go for example to destination which is far away from the range that the car estimates it will warn me that I need to find a charger uh, during my trip to charge the car okay let's go back and see the radio media you can see here that you can turn on and off traffic announcements if you share your uh, if you share your location to Volkswagen, uh, it will announce you if there are some uh, <coughs> traffic problems uh, during the traffic jams or construction on the road during uh, your trip. This here is to balance the the speakers of the car. You can do it like this, and to balance where to, where to focus the, the speakers. The other option is the radio. Yeah, this is just settings of the of the phone. Speed alerts. You can increase, decrease speed alerts. Let's see navigation. Yeah, you can change a lot of stuff here. Uh, you can choose your card. You need to download it. It's very big. For example, I cannot download the car from my country. I need to download the car for the whole Eastern Europe, which is <coughs> sorry, which is a big region of the Europe, and it's two gigabyte of, of data. But that's it where it is. So uh, yeah, you can set uh, what is the units here, the home address. I can only set the home address. Road calculation is again settings how you're driving the car, uh, dynamic routes. I'm leaving this by default. The settings country, color you can pick, for example, yellow. I think the default was yellow, but I prefer uh, blue. Uh, yeah, you can disconnect that from the vehicle, and you can hear. Transmit anonymous data to the Volkswagen and send location. So this is all about the settings. Let's see the other options. You can go to the uh, previous menu like this, and you see that the dashboards we have set are uh, all here. The functionality that on the dashboard is equal to this functionality here. So uh, I will go to the dashboards. So let's see the. Uh, Garmin Maps application. You can search for some destination. Let's see. Let's go to Plovdiv, and let's start the route. And it will show me where to go. You can make it on a full screen like this. Uh, what else? Let me minimize it again. Let me stop the route. Uh, you can set some uh, favorites. One thing that uh, it's very interesting that you can uh, select charging points on the card, on the map, and you can see that it knows what are the charging points around me. The problem here is it doesn't know what kind of charging uh, station is there. For example, this is this is the uh, the closest one to me is a um, uh, low box with 11 kilowatts. But it will be nicer if I know that there is a DC charger or AC charger and what kind of charger they are. If I go there, <coughs> you can see I don't have any information what 
the charging keys. Uh, so that's a very nice feature. The other are just uh, places that we can go. And this is the, the navigation unit. So let's go back. Uh, this is the... Uh, what, was, what was called this? Driving data. Okay, this is the driving data. Uh, currently, the car estimates that I have uh, 81 kilometers, uh, and my consumption is uh, 0 0.1 kilowatts. This is the driving data for uh, with more details. I have drived one kilometer for one hour. This is my current consumption, and you can see the long term and the short term uh, driving data. It was the, it is the same as the previous version of the car. Actually, this as a dashboard is mu much convenient than the previous version. The radio, the radio is the same as uh, on the other version of the car. You can see here that the radio starts immediately. Let me mute it. Okay, what next? This is the, the charging level of the battery. Uh, here you can see the recuperation level, uh, the departure times, I have set uh, to departure time, I'm going to work at uh, 8 o'clock a.m. So uh, I need the car to be preheated at that uh, level. You can schedule it how, how uh, which day the schedule can take effect, uh, what is the charging location, currently I'm charging at home using the AC. Uh, and at that time I will departure and I need the car to be preheated. You can set it here by the buttons like this. Uh, you can see here that I need the car to be charged at this location and also preheated. This is the icons here. I, if I go to the... No, I cannot uh, change it here, but I can change it here. This is my uh, home charging location and I want the car to be charged air conditioned and to be off peak. I want the car to be off peak charged so that I can save some money during the uh, off peak hours. And I want the car to be charged 80% with 10 amps. So this was the same, uh, this uh, functionality was the, the again in the previous version of the uh, Maps and More application, but I can say that this is definitely more uh, user experience in this version of the app in regards to the previous version. So let's continue with the other uh, dashboards. The Think Blue dashboard, I don't use it, I don't like it, so I will not tell anything about it. Uh, what else? Yeah, this is the phone. You can uh, set favorites like this and go to the favorites and see the number here. Uh, you can search the contact, you can dial a contact, the same as the previous version, but uh, it's with user experience is much, much better. So let me tell you about something that I don't like. And this is when you go here in this uh, options here and pick whatever option you want. So for example, this. It will bring you to the charging level dashboard, but I cannot go back. For example, if I go, if I want to go back, I cannot do. If I want to go back, I can go only here in the home screen. And I would like to be back here in this menu where I have started. Let's pick another option. I cannot go back on the app. I need to go again here on the home screen and and do it like this. The back functionality is very useful because if I'm playing with this screen, I would like to be returned in this screen. So this is pretty much the uh, Maps and More application. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If I have missed something, please type on the comments uh, below the video what I have missed and I will do my best to cover it in another video. Bye!